Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and we are taking a look today. We are less than a week away from the Lake Tahoe Outdoor Classic Games, whatever they're called. The Vegas Golden Knights and the Colorado Avalanche start things off on Saturday night. And then we have a... a Original six matchup between the Boston Bruins and the Philadelphia Flyers. So this is kind of a preview to those games. We're going to be looking at the updates of what it looks like over at Lake Lake Tahoe, the site of the stadium. We'll be taking a look at all of that in this video. If you guys like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, want to see the latest news around the NHL, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and even bigger subscribe down below. And let's take a look at the update and preview of the Lake Tahoe Outdoor Classics. All right, so here we go. So Lake Tahoe is the site of some hockey games this week. Saturday night or Saturday afternoon, we have a matchup between the Vegas Golden Knights and the Colorado Avalanche. Now they've already played each other once this season. This will be the fourth, the first time in four consecutive matchups that they played. But by the time this video comes out, I think they've already played twice. Um, and if it's anything later than that, we'll get a better idea. Vegas won that game 1-0. It was a low-scoring game. But guys, this is probably one of the best matchups right now in the NHL. Maybe not as much of a rivalry per se quite yet. But if there's been the biggest rivalry built from this new redivision alignment, it has to be between the Colorado Avalanche and the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, looking at where the arena is, I'm going to show you guys some pictures real quick. Look at what they are going to be looking at while they're playing the hockey game. This is unbelievable. You got the beaches off of Lake Tahoe, and it's unbelievable. It is beautiful over there. The mountains in the background. You got the arena starting to get built with a little bit of snow. You got the pine trees and everything like that. This is going to be a really exciting matchup. But like I said, they've already played each other once, and Vegas won one to nothing. Looking at the Boston Bruins and the Philadelphia Flyers, who will play next Sunday. Now, as it is right now, it is Boston and Philly as of this point. Now, that can obviously change if Philadelphia has another week of COVID issues. We could see the New York Rangers step into that game, but I don't think that's going to happen. We're going to likely see Philly and Boston. The preview for these two teams is a little bit interesting as well. Like I said, original six matchup. You know, these are two good hockey teams quite honestly and you know there's a group of teams that they haven't seen each other a whole lot recently because you know both teams haven't met in the playoffs you know that often but we're gonna see these two teams especially with this new division realignment meeting each other a lot more now they've already played each other five times this season and the Boston Bruins, let's just say, have a good record against Philly. In the five games they've already played, oh, the four games they played against Philly already, they played two games in Boston, two games in Philly. They beat the Flyers 5-4 to four in the first matchup. They beat Philadelphia 6-1 to one in the second matchup. And then the two games in Philly, 4-3 to three Boston, 2-1 to one Boston. So you could say this has been skewed for the Boston Bruins going into this matchup. They seem to match up well against the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, again, 3 p.m. on Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so that is going to be a matchup. Again, we're going to see more of these two teams playing each other. Uh, we're going to see them play each other in March again once. And they will meet again. No, that is the last time they meet. So they will play each other two more times this season. And like I said, this may be a good thing for Philly because... They have not done so well so far. They're 0-4 against the Bruins this season. Uh, just a bad matchup. And we've seen that for other scenarios. You know, the New York Islanders have played well against the Boston Bruins. They're the only team to beat the team twice, you know, can, you know, this season. Everybody else has not been able to beat the Bruins. So, that's just how it is. So, this is an interesting matchup. You got to say, you got to give it to Boston. They have those unbelievable jerseys. I like Philly's jerseys, but uh, compared to Boston's, I like the yellow a little bit more. That yellow marigold, whatever that is, I really like that for the, the Boston Bruins. So, 
Overall, like I said, we're going to see the reverse retro jerseys in this game. Colorado will wear their throwbacks to the Nordiques, as well as the Vegas Gold Knights wearing their red. Uh, I just assume they're going to wear their red jerseys, or they maybe wear the Vegas Gold if that's what they want to do. I wonder if they're going to wear the chrome helmets for this game as well. I know that wasn't perceived too well from a lot of people, including myself, but I think... For an outdoor game, you have the gold chrome helmet and the gold jersey. We can settle with that helmet. But on, on the, the gray jersey, the regular home jersey, it, it doesn't work. I hate to say it. It, it doesn't work, guys. So, like I said, we're going to have a lot of things continuing to move along with this. The Colorado Avalanche are down a couple of players with this whole situation they've had. Nathan McKinnon is at, is still injured, regular injured, not due to COVID. Uh, Nathan McKinnon is still out for a couple of days. Tyson Yost still out. Uh, so there's still a couple of questions for this team, but they did able they were able to get some players back in their time off, guys like Devin Taze. So there are good things here for the Colorado Avalanche. I don't think there's any injuries for Vegas. Shea Theodore did not play the other night. I don't know if that's just a day-to-day -day thing or there is something longer term there. But I expect he will be in the winter or the outdoor classic, whatever you want to call it, uh, at Lake Tahoe. And the Boston Bruins and the Philadelphia Flyers. The Flyers have a lot going on right now. So we'll see how things go. Is this for the you know, the Philadelphia Flyers? This is a chance for them to rewrite the ship after the time they're going to have off here. They kind of struggled in the first half of the season. They played well, well enough to be in a playoff spot. But definitely below the standard that they would like. Losing four games straight to Boston. Those are the kind of teams that they would like to be a little bit more moving forward this season. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you excited for the outdoor game coming up on this week? I'm, I'm pretty excited, honestly. It looks beautiful over there in Lake Tahoe. I'm excited to see some really good hockey. Like I said, I'll put here in at the end of the video. You have Saturday night at, I believe, 3 p.m. Eastern. You have the Colorado Avalanche and the Vegas Golden Knights. And then Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern, you have the Boston Bruins and the Philadelphia Flyers, a battle of the East and the battle of the West. Four really solid teams that quite honestly, because of the new division realignment, we're seeing these rivalries start to get brought up again. And uh, perfectly fitting in Lake Tahoe. So guys, let me know your thoughts down below. Leave predictions for who you think will win this game. If you do get it right. So let's say you get the score. You have to get the score right and the game winner. Who's going to score the game winner? If you get both of those right on next week's podcast at Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Eastern or Thursday night at 6 p.m. Eastern, I will give you guys a shout out for getting, like I said, you have to get the guy, the player right for who got the game winning goal and you have to leave the right score and you will get a shout out on next week's podcast. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and a subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great week.